the Rafah border, the only crossing between Gaza and Egypt. A lifeline for Palestinians even before the war, a connection to the outside world, an entry point for vital resources. Since Israel imposed a total siege last year, it's become the only way out of Gaza. But even at the border between two Arab states, safe passage comes at a price. Findings from an independent investigation published by the French news outlet Le Monde show Egyptians pay between $650 and $1,200 for an exit permit. Other nationalities pay around $3,000, but Palestinians have been charged anything from $4,500 to $10,000. Similar findings published in the Guardian newspaper earlier this month suggest this has been a common practice at the Rafah crossing for years. But it used to be $500 per person. Prices have surged since October the 7th. So-called travel agencies act as brokers at the border. Palestinians say everyone involved gets a cut, including Egyptian and Israeli government officials. The payments don't guarantee anything. Some have lost everything in scams. Egypt says the allegations are baseless. The Rafah crossing is operated by Egypt, but Israel maintains overall control of all people and goods going in and out. Even before the war, the UN criticized both sides for a lack of transparency. While Israel hinders efforts to get humanitarian aid into Gaza, Egypt has long resisted opening the border, fearing an influx of Palestinians. And although Egypt is a vocal critic of Israel and is calling for a ceasefire, Observers say it could do more to relax controls at the Gaza border, where seeking sanctuary has seemingly become a lucrative business for war profiteers. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.